I'm gonna show you how you can execute JavaScript in Python using Python Monkey. <laughs> Python Monkey is a Python library for evaluating JavaScript and WebAssembly in Python. Under the hood, it uses Firefox's blazingly fast JavaScript engine for executing code. In order to install it, all you've got to do is pip install Python Monkey. And uh, now that we've got that installed, let's go through some examples. The first example I wanna show is a simple hello world from JavaScript. We're gonna use pm.eval to execute some JavaScript code in Python. And the code we're gonna call is console.log hello from JavaScript. This prints to the console using console.log like how you would in Node.js. In this next example, I'm gonna do something a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna create a variable called console underscore log, and I'm gonna assign it equal to pm.eval console.log. Basically what's happening there is I'm assigning console underscore log to be a function in JavaScript. And we can call that function just like any other Python function. And you'll see it'll print to the console. But you're not just stuck with these standard JavaScript libraries. You can create any arbitrary code and execute it in Python. Let's create a new function that adds two numbers. We'll call it adder, and it'll take uh, two numbers a and b and return a plus b. Great, so we've defined that function using pm.eval. And then if we set a new function in Python called js underscore adder equals pm.eval adder, then we can execute this function js underscore adder in Python. So this is calling the JavaScript code we just wrote. But you can do a lot more than just passing functions back and forth. You can pass really any arbitrary data. A dictionary you can pass into uh, JS and use it like an object. You can pass an object back to Python and uh, so forth. But in this next example, I'm going to show how you can use pm.require to load JavaScript files, libraries, or npm packages into Python. pm.require is basically the same as Node.js's require. They both use common JS syntax for loading modules. At the moment, Python Monkey just shipped alpha, and it doesn't have a lot of Node.js support. So although it works for some NPM packages, don't expect it to work with Express at the moment. Check the description of this video to see if that's changed. You can also use pm.require to load any arbitrary JavaScript file and execute it in Python. So for instance, you could write a library in JavaScript and then use it in Python. In fact, the reason Python Monkey was created was support a JavaScript package to Python without having to worry about maintaining it, keeping it up to date, and worrying about bugs in, in two different versions of the same software. <laughs> Python Monkey is extremely fast. Running the Sun Spider benchmark against JS2Py, another popular library for running JavaScript in Python, shows that Python Monkey is over 1,000 times faster. This is because Python Monkey uses Spider Monkey, an extremely fast JavaScript engine used in Firefox, whereas JS2Py and some alternatives implement a JavaScript runtime in Python. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful and enjoy running your JavaScript in your Python programs.